Hi folks, we have a brand new 1100. It's kind of funny, I've never uh, felt like I've had one before because when we got our original 1100 like six years ago, I didn't know anything about what I was doing, but now th this is awesome. So let's make some chips. We are gonna try out this new Pearson work holding vacuum plate. Full disclosure, they did send it to us. The question is gonna be, is this a good setup for us long-term? Let's talk more about that at the end of the video. The task at hand and why I'm filming this is we're bidding a job and that job will run a lot better. It's, it's larger plates uh, and there's a lot of holes in it. So can I leave 7,000? That's all I'm gonna push it today um, only under the bottom of this and still have the vacuum hold it down. And when it's done, pull it off. And can we just use like a deburring tool or a knife to finish that seven thou out and have that work? That'll be awesome. That's the task at hand today. More videos to come on this whole setup. Sharp box cutter. The, the problem in my experience is that the more flange stuff left, the harder it is to get a good um, crisp cut with a deburring tool. Um, and that's what we're going for here. This might work, it's certainly thin. Uh, we're gonna experiment more videos to come on how close can we cut it and still hold still hold vacuum. Like actually did a great, good job on the right side, not so much over here. Um, not the right tool for this. Deburring tool. That's gonna work, folks. That is awesome. Take a look at this. Got my fingerprints all hell. You can see me in the mirror here looking at the camera. <laughs> Brand new 1100, first cuts. 
and look at that wall finish. We've got a bunch of jobs coming up with big flat plates, you know, six by 12 by a, a eighth of an inch or three sixteenths of an inch thick with holes in them. The, the vacuum plate will be awesome if it works. And the reason we shot this video today is I'm bidding the job. And before I bid the job, I wanted to know if it'll work. Can we cut these holes, leave seven thou, maybe a little bit less, and then come in there and clean them up and have them look nice. That's the key. Uh, otherwise, to do those with fixturing and toe clamps and moving them or in a vise where it may bow, this is going to be awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Now, we did goof on our first part. It was totally our fault, but um, you, know, you can see from the footage here, we just had a smaller part. So you do have a lot less vacuum uh, power. Actually, that wouldn't have been the problem on this one. We actually just poked through too far, but I think we just had a tool set a couple thou too deep. And so that was exciting because I also want to figure out how little can you hold and have this thing work. Uh, we ordered a nine, about a one inch thick plate that's going to sit on top of it and hold our vise. TBD, if that's the good long-term solution, I wouldn't want to leave uh, this beautiful vacuum plate though exposed to daily chips and bangs and clangs. Uh, I like the idea of having something more sacrificial over everything, both the mill bed as well as this vacuum plate. So. Lots of good things to come, folks, but I'm excited uh, for this thing. I will give a shout out to Pearson, too. The thing is dead flat. We put a mic on it when we were indicating it in, or a test, test indicator on it, and I couldn't believe it uh, in talking to them. They Blanchard grind all these things. Really nice quality product. The packaging that it came in, um, that's certainly superb. So I, I hope it works for us. Uh, we'll see. If you guys are interested in seeing more, please click subscribe. Otherwise, see you next week, folks.